financial markets globally are going through a period of extreme turbulence with what is happening with mid-sized US banks there is a fear of a contagion and a fear of overall banking system coming under pressure while US Fed and the larger banks are doing their bit to contain the impact of the run on banks we don't know whether we have seen the last of it and it is better to be extremely cautious as far as financial markets are concerned and this applies for all the markets globally while ECB uh, through their policy announcement and the rate hikes yesterday took an extremely balanced and matured approach all eyes would be on US Fed action on 22nd of March uh, which is next week we also have separate set of challenges as far as Indian markets are concerned while on the one hand we have FII's which are risk averse and are selling at every possible opportunity HNI's and even domestic institutions are preferring to sit in the wings we have a warning of El Nino which is making everybody nervous we have a situation where rural income and rural demand is under pressure already on top of that if agriculture gets disrupted due to El Nino we will have a uh, challenging year going ahead under the circumstances it's better for the investors to be extremely cautious pockets of opportunity do exist and should be looked at only with a medium to long term perspective short term continues to remain extremely volatile and unpredictable these will be always dependent on short term events geopolitical developments and developments in the US financial services industry we have to exercise caution having said that the opportunity as we have been saying repeatedly does exist in Indian construction and infrastructure sector Larsen Tubro continues to remain our favorite we also like some other sectors which are showing signs of progress and signs of development this includes uh, FMCG and uh, fashion uh, uh, companies like a trend uh, which has been showing remarkable progress through its low priced brand Zudio we also have been seeing progress as far as FMCG uh, hard FMCG sector where with the commodity prices coming down we expect things to improve subject to El Nino not affecting agriculture in a big way so for an aggressive investor taking bets in uh, FMCG companies like Marico Hindustan Unilever Nestle can be advised provided their risk appetite is high under the circumstances overall it's always better to wait and watch and only slowly build positions under the current circumstances thank you